Starting off this countdown, we have the wildfires in Greece. Greece has been experiencing the worst forest fires the country has seen since 2007. In 2007, they hit record-breaking temperatures and experienced a terrible drought, which caused a number of fires to break out. As a result, 270,000 hectares of land was destroyed. And now it's happening all over again. Since early August of 2021, a number of wildfires have been threatening Greece. Thousands of people have evacuated, dozens of homes have been destroyed, and thousands of miles of nature and wildlife have been destroyed. It's very devastating, and a part of why this is happening is climate change. We are experiencing hotter and drier weather conditions, which fires thrive in. This is very concerning to scientists. In our ninth spot, we have the hut on the moon. Just recently, China's U-22 rover, which landed on the far side of the moon in 2019, has spotted a weird object lurking on the moon. On the horizon of the moon, it spotted a cube-shaped object that looks like a hut. So it was given the name, the Mystery Hut. Images of this mystery hut have been uploaded online and people believe that this is an alien created structure. Even satellite images from above have picked up this hut as well. For now, the rover is headed closer to the hut to get a better look at it. But the rover isn't the fastest thing out there, so it's gonna take a couple of months to get there. That means for months, we'll be wondering what the heck this structure is. Moving on to number eight, we have the toxic foam. You see all that white stuff floating in the water beside the people? No, this photo wasn't taken in a very cold country. And no, that is not ice or snow in the water. That is a highly polluted river in Delhi. It's so polluted that it's covered in a snow-like toxic foam. This was a result of illegal dumping of industrial waste and untreated sewage water. For years, the government has promised to clean the river, but they never have followed through with this promise. It's actually very dangerous to humans. That foam is very toxic. Again, this is a huge concern to scientists. It shows the destructive habits of humans, and we are now suffering the consequences. Moving on to number seven, we have the river filled with waste. Pollution is one of the biggest global killers. It's affecting over 100 million people. On top of that, over 1 million seabirds and 100,000 sea mammals are killed by pollution every year. Take a look at this next photo to understand the severity of this problem. This is the Lim River in Serbia. In January of 2021, heavy rain caused their waste systems to fail, and as a result, Serbia's rivers were flooded with waste. To clean all that up could take months, even years. And think of all the sea mammals affected by that waste. It's very depressing looking at this photo. Coming in at number six, we have the body's location. Okay, let's take a break from all the depressing pollution and climate change talk and move on to something pretty eerie. Someone on Facebook posted that they found this on the underside of their desk. It reads, the truth is under. This was written inside of one of the desk drawers. When you look under that desk drawer, it says the body lies at, and then it lists location coordinates. If you look up the coordinates, some sort of target range pops up from the satellite view. Now, if someone actually emailed the county sheriff's office and they said their criminal investigations unit was working on it. He also warned people not to go out to the spot by themselves or at all. Apparently, a couple of years ago, there was this 4chan thread where a guy said that a prize was at a certain location and someone went out there and uh, they were never seen again. So yeah. We're now at our fifth and halfway mark with the surfer. Here's another photo that sadly captures the world's pollution problem. This photo features surfer Didi Serena catching a wave in Java, Indonesia. You can see instead of the water being crystal blue, it's filled with litter. Now this place is said to be the world's most populated island. Not only that, but scientists have said that Indonesia has among the worst water quality in Asia. This is due to the fact that many cities don't have proper trash collection, so the waste ends up on the street or in the water, or it's on the street and then it gets blown into the water. Coming in at number four, we have the flooding. A number of major cities are sinking due to sea levels rising and climate change. In a couple of years, these cities will be unhabitable and largely underwater. 
Take Jakarta, Indonesia, for example. Jakarta is said to be the world's fastest sinking city. North Jakarta has sunk 2.5 meters in 10 years and is now sinking 25 centimeters a year in some parts. Research shows that by 2050, 95% of North Jakarta will be submerged underwater. In fact, currently almost half the city is now below sea level. Many buildings are already being flooded. They have tried to repair these buildings from the floods, but they just keep getting damaged from the floods. Now, the Indonesian government actually has a plan in place to move the capital to Java to protect the 10 million residents, but this move would take 10 years and cost $33 billion. But it's not just Jakarta at risk. Major places like New York, Florida, Fiji, New Orleans are also at risk as well. Coming in at number three, we have the Yellow River in Mongolia. This river is so populated that it's almost impossible to breathe near it. It's also extremely hazardous to swim in or to drink. But here's the thing. It used to supply water to millions of people in the north of China, until recent years when it got polluted with factory discharge and sewage. One third of China's Yellow River is now poisonous to drink. Only 16% of the water is safe. If things keep going this way, soon the entire water supply will be unsafe. In our second spot, we have the Amazon rainforest. Over the past 30 years, 15% of the Brazilian Amazon has been destroyed. This is very problematic because this forest alone supplies 20% of the world's oxygen. And nowadays, more and more parts of the rainforest are being burnt down or chopped down. The main cause of deforestation in the Amazon is a need for more farmland. A couple of years ago, cattle ranchers set the Amazon on fire to illegally clear land and then expend their business. Cattle ranching has caused 80% of the deforestation of the Amazon. However, because of climate change, the Amazon is getting drier. So when they burn down the land, it spreads uncontrollably. In 2000, in 2019, almost a million hectares burnt down. And in our number one spot today, we have the Kenyan drought. Now, this is a very upsetting photo, but it showcases the reality of global warming and climate change. In December of 2021, a prolonged drought in northeast of Kenya caused the death of a number of animals and livestock. This is a photo of six giraffes who sadly passed away due to this destructive drought. The area only received a third of normal rainfall since September. This photo really gets to me. Like, look how destructive humans are. Our actions are killing our home, this planet, and animals are suffering as a result. Starting off at number 10 now, we have the visitor. This one comes from a Reddit user called Fan and Depressed. They posted this picture with the caption, got a notification from my smart home app in the middle of the night saying, your doorbell detected a visitor. That's all he put, and that's all that was needed. He posted it to the creepy subreddit, but it has gained over 34,000 upvotes. One of the top comment said, why are you doing this? Because you were home. That's a quote from the movie Strangers, where some twisted home invaders give their reason for terrorizing a woman in her home. It's a great movie and yeah, it does remind me of this too. Can you imagine how terrifying it would be to see this on your phone app in the middle of the night? There was no follow up story to this, I just hope they were alright. Next up at number 9 now we have the mummified captain. This is the disturbing story of Manfred Fritz Bajorat, a German man who was found in his boat by two fishermen off the coast of the Philippines. He was dead. His corpse had been preserved by dry ocean winds, hot temperatures and the salty sea air. It could not be determined how long he had been dead for but he hadn't been seen by anyone for 7 years years. He'd actually been sailing the world on his yacht for the past 20 years. It's thought that from the way he was sitting, death was unexpected, perhaps from a heart attack. The police said there was no evidence of a second person aboard and no weapon was found on board the yacht. Moving on to number 8 now, we have Home. This is a 1948 picture of a girl who grew up in a Nazi concentration camp. Now She was asked to draw what home was and this is what she drew. The photograph was taken by David Seymour in a home for emotionally disturbed children located in Warsaw. Not much is known about the girl other than her name, Teresa. The swirling lines are a stark reminder of horrors of the Holocaust. More than one and a half million Jewish children were killed in the Holocaust. Those that survived often ended up like Teresa, lost shocked and unable to grasp a simple concept like home. Moving on to number 7 now, we have Obsession. George Karl Tanzler was a radiology technician from Germany. He moved to Florida where he married Maria de Hoyos, a local Cuban American woman. She died of tuberculosis 5 years later despite his best efforts to save her. He wouldn't accept her death though. After her funeral, George dug up Maria's body and took her to his home. He attempted to preserve her. 
This is the picture of his efforts. He attached her bones together with wire and coat hangers and fitted her face with glass eyes. He replaced her skin with silk cloth soaked in wax. He gave her a wig and filled her insides with rags. He covered her in jewellery and the smell was masked with copious amounts of perfume. The body was eventually discovered by authorities a full nine years after he first removed her from her resting place. Next up at number 6 now we have the catacombs. This is a very disturbing picture. Please look away now if you're sensitive to death and all that kind of thing. This is the story of Masha, a Ukrainian woman who went out with a large group of friends to celebrate New Year's Eve in 2005. It was a foggy night with temperatures around freezing. The group stumbled into the Odessa catacombs, an ancient tunnel and cave system that spans for over one and a half thousand miles. Somehow Masha became separated from her group and got lost in the dark. She seems to have wandered for days with no food or water before slipping into a coma and then death. Her body wasn't discovered for months until this picture was taken by some local boys who found her. Still, she wasn't retrieved by authorities for a further two years. When a story was shared on Reddit, people tried to imagine how terrifying it must be to be lost in the dark like that pitch black darkness, unable to see any difference between your eyes being closed and open and totally alone. Moving on to number 5 now we have shell shocked. In World War 1 there were hundreds of thousands of soldiers who got shell shock, a type of PTSD brought on from the endless bombardment they had to endure. Tens of thousands of soldiers were treated for the disorder. Victims were said to have a thousand yard stare, looking into the distance as their mind went blank. Here is a famous picture from a soldier during the Battle of the Somme, a battle which killed 3 million men. This man appears to be suffering from shell shock. He has a crazed look in his eyes that is often associated with those who had shell shock. It's an image that has become increasingly associated with war, especially the hell that was World War One. Next up at number 4 now we have the subway. In 2012, the New York Post ran a story with this picture. It was of Ki Suk Han, a 58 year old man who was pushed onto the tracks by a stranger. He was fatally struck by a train seconds later. The suspect was 30 year old Naeem Davis who confessed to pushing the innocent man onto the tracks. The picture shocked New Yorkers and people around the world. Why was someone taking a picture instead of trying to help? Should the New York Post even have ran that story and published that picture? What do you guys think? Next up at number 3 now we have Madame Violet. This is a picture of Violet Spears, otherwise known as Madame Violet. She was the leader of a group of real life vampires in Edinburgh in the late 19th century. They were called The Hive. They became known as lovely but dangerous partiers, seducing men and women with drugs and alcohol and then making them donate their blood to them, so to speak. Some of the victims even joined the hive and she became their leader too. In 1882 and 1884 she was apparently voted the scariest woman in England, even though she never left Scotland. That's how scary she is. She scared another country she didn't even live in. Moving on to number 2 now we have the vulture and the little girl. On March 26th 1993 the New York Times shared a picture known as struggling girl. It showed a famine stricken boy, initially believed to be a girl who had collapsed from malnutrition during a famine in South Sudan. In the background a vulture waits patiently. These birds have a keen sense of death and this one has its eyes on the boy. The picture shocked the world. The photographer Kevin Carter was awarded the Pulitzer Prize for his photography. He actually killed himself just 4 months later. The reasons are largely unknown but many people speculate that pictures like this can drive anyone down a dark path. And finally number 1 now we have the Hiroshima shadows. When the US dropped a nuclear bomb on Japan's Hiroshima over 100,000 people were killed. Some of them who were close enough were literally vaporized into thin air. The intense heat of the explosion caused what's now called nuclear shadows. The blast forever change services because of the UV radiation. Services that were blocked by people look different to its surroundings leaving a sort of permanent shadow of the person who was vaporized. This is one of the most striking images for me. What appears to be an old person stood at the bottom of the steps. You can even see the cane in their hand. It's a shocking reminder of how destructive weapons of war have become. How quickly life can be snuffed out in an instant leaving only a shadow behind. Starting off this countdown we have Jeffrey Bezos. In 2019 the founder of Amazon Jeff Bezos admitted that his nudes almost got leaked. Basically, someone got a hold of some steamy text messages and nudes that he sent to his girlfriend and they tried to blackmail him with it. But before they could do so, he came out and admitted what he had done. And he described it in detail. One of his texts said, and I quote, I love you alive girl, I will show you with my body and my lips and my eyes very soon. Now any person, celebrity, billionaire or not, 
probably doesn't want their nudes getting leaked. On top of that, Jeff was married at the time that this information came out, so it looked pretty bad on him. But he claims that he was separated from his wife before dating his new lady. Either way, Bezos didn't want us to see that side of him. And frankly, I don't want to either. In our ninth spot, we have Naked Prince Harry. Before Harry met Meghan, he was quite the wild royal and troublemaker. Back in 2012, naked photos of Harry partying up during his trip in Las Vegas got leaked online. Prince Harry was photographed playing a game of strip billiards with his friends in his VIP suite. In the photo, we see Harry holding his junk while a naked girl stands behind him holding him. In another photo, we see the backside of Harry with his arms wrapped around the naked girl. I wonder what the queen had to say when she saw these photos. Yikes. Coming in at number 8 we have Bill Clinton. It's no surprise that a number of high up powerful wealthy individuals had ties with Jeffrey Epstein, including Bill Clinton. If you don't know the whole Jeffrey Epstein scandal, I suggest you look into it, but it's hella dark and disturbing. He forced a number of young individuals into doing things with him and his friends and anyone else with a lot of money. It's believed that Bill knew what Jeffrey was doing and was a part of some of it. Here is a photo of Bill with one of Jeffrey's victims, Shantae Davies. When the photo was taken, Davies was only 22 years old. She is seen rubbing Clinton's shoulders while they all wait for their plane to Africa in 2002. Apparently, it was Ghislaine Maxwell's idea for the young girl to help Bill out with his stiff back and give him a massage. Although Davy said that that's the most intimate that she got with Bill, it's still a very compromising photo of him. Having connections with Epstein in the first place tarnishes his reputation, one of the reasons why he has tried to bury this part of his past. Moving on at number 7 we have Topless Mark Zuckerberg. Ok, well seeing a guy topless is nothing scandalous, but a picture of Mark Zuckerberg, the CEO of Facebook shirtless? Well, apparently Mark was really embarrassed when this photo got leaked and his co-worker that leaked it accidentally got in trouble. Let's take a look at this photo, shall we? Sorry Mark. This photo was taken at some weird private party. Shirtless Mark is surrounded by a number of other shirtless dudes. Like I said, it's not even a bad photo, but Mark was not happy about it going around. Apparently it was accidentally posted by Facebook's director of engineering, Andrew Bosworth. As soon as he realized it had been leaked, he took it down immediately, but the internet was too fast and screenshotted it. In our sixth spot we have the Bohemian Grove. The Bohemian Grove is a secret and controversial club that meets in the California woods every year. The club consists of a number of rich men. Among the attendees are past and present presidents, government members and business leaders. It's kept very hush hush. What happens at this retreat thing stays there. Some say it's a cult where they do human sacrifices among other illegal and spooky things. But since no one has yet infiltrated the club, we still don't really know what goes on there. But there are some photos that have gotten leaked, like pictures of a number of the men in weird cloaks surrounding a burning effigy, to pictures of some of the members seated around a huge dining table. Since this club is so controversial, I doubt the members want their pictures from the club leaked. We are now at our fifth and halfway mark with Mark Zuckerberg surfing. I'm pretty sure you all have seen this photo of Mark surfing in Hawaii. It became a viral photo and a meme. Why? Well, because Mark has way too much sunscreen on his face. He really packed that on all over his face and it left a very noticeable white cast. I mean, good for him for taking sun safety seriously and you know, skin cancer is no joke. But due to the fact that he became a laughing stock over the photo, I bet he didn't want anyone seeing those photos in the first place. Plus, it kind of ruins his reputation, like it's hard to take him seriously with that photo floating around and all the jokes associated with it. Coming in at number 4 we have Kate Middleton's topless pictures. Looks like Harry isn't the only one in the royal family to stir up some controversy. Back in 2012, Kate and William were in France vacationing when the paparazzi took some photos of the pair. In the photos, Kate was sun tanning and she was topless. The paparazzi then sold the photos to the French magazine Closer, who then published them. Obviously, she and the rest of the royal family were horrified and took legal action. In the end, the magazine company had to pay 100,000 euros in damages for publishing the photos. 
two staff members were fined an additional 90,000 euros to pay to Kate Middleton and Prince William. Pretty sure every copy of this photo has been destroyed. And for Kate's sake and privacy, let's hope it stays that way. In our third spot, we have Barack Obama's party. I didn't know Barack Obama was a big partier, but these photos prove otherwise. Just this year, Barack Obama threw a huge birthday bash for his 60th birthday. But it caused quite the uproar. Why? Well, photos from that night show a room packed full of maskless people in the middle of the pandemic. Especially since Barack is a huge political figure, you would think that he would set a good example, or at least practice what he's been preaching. Either way, Obama was under fire after photos of him dancing at this epic party were posted. In our second spot, we have Prince Harry's inappropriate costume. Prince Harry was quite the royal troublemaker back in the day, making headlines with a number of scandals. Well, back in 2005, Harry was seen dressed up in a Nazi soldier uniform while attending a costume party. The costume consisted of wearing a red Nazi insignia on his left arm. Here are some of the photos from that night. Not only that, but he was photographed drinking and smoking in the outfit, which looks really freaking bad on the royal family. In the end, Prince Harry did apologize, saying, and I quote, I am very sorry if I caused any offense or embarrassment to anyone. It was a poor choice of costume, and I apologize. Let's just say that this is definitely one picture that Harry certainly wants to leave in the past. And in our number one spot today, we have Bill Gates. Bill Gates is another wealthy man who had ties with Jeffrey Epstein. Photographed here is a picture of the two at Jeffrey's Manhattan mansion in 2011. Over the years, Bill has denied his relationship with Jeffrey, but the two were friendlier than he likes to admit. Apparently, the first time they met was in 2011 after Epstein pleaded guilty to some of his crimes. But that didn't stop Bill from becoming close with him. He then proceeded to hang out with him on a number of different occasions. He went to Epstein's Manhattan town at least three times, one of those times being late at night. What were you doing there, Bill? So late, huh? He also flew on Epstein's plane a couple of times. In 2019, Gates said, and I quote, I met him. I didn't have any business relationship or friendship with him. Which clearly wasn't the truth because they met repeatedly. But anyways, it seems like Bill doesn't want anyone to see any photos that he has with Jeffrey. He doesn't want to get roped into the legal and disturbing things that Epstein was into. Starting off this countdown, we have the secret entrances. Just last year, a man claimed to have found three hidden entrances that lead to Area 51. He discovered this after using Google Earth. He compared images of the base from different time periods. In one particular area in 1998, there seems to be no roads or entrance. Satellite pictures of that same location in 2005, 2010, and 2013 show a road and a dead end with what looks like an entrance and tunnel carved into a mountain. In fact, at the dead end, there appears to be cars parked there. Seems unusual for people to just park there, because what is around for them to do? Wander the barren plain alone? No, they're parking their cars there and then entering Area 51 through this secret entrance. In our ninth spot, we have the alien craft. What I'm about to show you is a leaked video and some photos from Area 51 of an alien spacecraft test. The video features a flying object hovering in the sky and moving in ways that other crafts definitely don't do. This was recorded on May 15, 2017 and then was leaked years later. If this isn't actually a UFO, then what could it be? That's what's baffling people. The way it just moves up and down and side to side that quickly is very strange, especially because of its size. What do you think though? Is this proof that Area 51 has gotten their hands on an alien spacecraft? Moving on to number 8, we have the transportation of a UFO. When this next photo was leaked online, it was met with a number of conspiracy theories. So this is the image of the CIA transporting a large part for one of their top secret projects. In fact, when this was getting transported, the CIA sealed off the entire highway. And I'm sure you can see why this was met with a number of conspiracy theories. Like look at the shape of the thing that they're transporting. That is definitely a UFO or part of a UFO spaceship. Now this is where it gets even more interesting. Somehow a group of bikers made it onto the road. When they were stopped by some soldiers, they asked what they were transporting. And the soldier said they found a UFO up in the mountains. Now apparently he said this jokingly, but who knows? 
UFOs. In our seventh spot, we have the Tic Tac UFO. Last year, another UFO was spotted near Area 51. This one was given the name the Tic Tac UFO because of its Tic Tac shape and white or bright appearance. So this spacecraft was caught on footage by a person driving along near Area 51. He was driving along the extraterrestrial highway, that's the name given to the highway in Nevada, as a number of UFOs have been seen by drivers while on this route. At first, the driver thought that what he was seeing was just a cloud. When he got closer to it, he realized that it was definitely a craft of some kind. Later on, alien hunter Scott Waring confirmed that the UFO was in fact alien in origin. Also, the area in which he was driving through had a number of wind farms in the area. Turns out that in the past, a lot of UFOs have been spotted around wind farms, and one UFO even crashed into a windmill many years back. Some say this is because aliens are fascinated with human technology. In our sixth spot, we have Stephen Barron. In 2016, UFO hunter Steve Barron captured video and photographic evidence of another alien spacecraft close to Area 51. These were taken near his home in Las Vegas, Nevada, an hour drive from Area 51. Using a night vision camera, Steve head out to Red Rock Canyon to try and capture a UFO. The first couple of hours, there was nothing. Then he saw mysterious weird flashing lights appear over a mountain. He said this in regards to the UFO and its lights, and I quote, First one, then two, then more and more. They put on a spectacular show. I am glad I was patient because the show they put on kept getting better and better. We are now at our fifth and halfway mark with the CIA spy plane. In 2011, Los Angeles Times journalist Annie Jacobson published a book called Area 51, an uncensored history of America's top secret military base. In the book, she included a number of never before seen photos of the base. The first one I want to show you is of a CIA spy plane. This photo shows an A-12 ox cart hidden behind a barrier at Area 51. This was a top secret plane that was created to reach high speeds and altitudes. During the first three years of testing this plane, everything was kept top secret. In fact, the pilots weren't even allowed to tell their wives what they were working on. On May 24th, 1963, during a test flight, the plane crashed. The pilot, Ken Collins, was fine, but had to eject himself out of the plane. But afterwards, the CIA actually injected him with sodium pentothal, aka truth serum, to then interrogate him after the crash. That's crazy. In our fourth spot, we have the rare photo. So this photo was also featured in Annie Jacobson's book, Area 51, An Uncensored History of America's Top Secret Military Base. In fact, this is a very rare photo that has never been published before. It was published for the first time in Annie's book, and that's it. This photo is an aerial view of Area 51, taken in 1964. I don't know why it was kept a secret for so long, or how Annie got her hands on it, but she did and decided to share it with the world. Moving on at number three, we have the early U-2 spy planes. In the early 1950s, at the peak of the Cold War, the CIA began to develop planes that they wanted to reach an altitude of 70,000 feet to avoid detection against Soviet radar. This gave birth to the U-2 spy planes that you see here in this picture. This photo was taken in Area 51 in 1956, and pictures a worker standing on the plane's wing. Sadly, at least three pilots lost their lives during test flights, including two at Area 51 and one at an Air Force base in Germany. Coming in at number two, we have Boyd Bushman. Shortly before his death, former Area 51 engineer Boyd Bushman revealed that he encountered aliens while working at Area 51. In a video, Bushman shows a number of mysterious photos to the camera, including one of an alien and a number of photos of the alien's appendages. We have a total of at least 18 that exist and operate with our facility. Now, many people believe that this man is telling the truth. Why? Because he had nothing to gain or lose by sharing his story. 
Plus, an interrogator with the police studied Boyd's movements and speech pattern during this interview, and he said that it appears as if he's telling the truth. In the interview, he said that Area 51 has at least 18 of these aliens in their facility. He also claims that there are two groups of aliens. One group are called the Wranglers, the others are called the Rustlers. The aliens that are considered Wranglers are friendly and have a better relationship with humans. Rustlers, however, have been known to steal cattle. This is all insane. And in our number one spot today, we have Boyd Bushman and the UFO. During his interview, Boyd Bushman also revealed photos of real UFO spacecrafts that he saw while working at Area 51. Up close and personal, this is a UFO which is ready to take off. So that's a close up photo of a UFO spacecraft taking off. Then he also showed a different photo of a UFO spacecraft with its lights turned off. What do you think though? Is Boy telling the truth? Are those real photos of UFOs? Let me know in the comments below.